Shark, it's great to get down here and see Hewick in the lead up to the Cheltenham Gold Cup. It's been some story so far. It's after being unreal, the great cheer. Um, he's after doing everything we asked him. And for a small yard like ours to have a runner in a Gold Cup, it means so much. It means so much to everyone in the yard, myself and the two young lads and Paddy and Sean and mother and father like it's after being it's after being a dream for the last year it keeps everyone going my father is 86 years of age and you know he, he's looking forward to this that run every time he runs you know like it's, it's great so this it's just it keeps the whole show going like he, he as you can see he's not a big horse he's only a handy horse but like he he, he loves the game and he's as honest as the day is long which is very very important and um we know he has a bit of toe because when we're going to galway Everyone was saying that uh, he has no chance over two, two and a half miles or two miles. A couple of experts were saying that, weren't they? All the experts, yeah, all the experts, <laughs> Ruby included. <laughs> said, no, no. And like, the, he made the run in it and won. And then he went to the Vet 365, which was three mile five, and uh, near enough made the run again and won it. So, like, he's probably a freak, right? You don't get horses like him. He was only cost 800 quid when he was bought. But, um, he don't know that, and De that's very important. Definitely not, and uh, it was a cheap purchase, as is well known now, an 800 uh, quid purchase. It wasn't an easy start for him, he was a slow burner. Things didn't go to plan his first couple of runs by any means. Everything went wrong, <laughs> everything. <laughs> pint to pint, we said, we, we, first thing he happened to him was that his name came back wrong. He was to be called Hike because Tom Hamilton was from Hike and he rode him one day in a school bumper and he said, this lad's not too bad. He said, this lad went for us. And um, I said to him, where are you from? He says, Hike. And we put in the name Hike and Huey came back. And Rachel went to change the name and um, I said, not to, it wouldn't be lucky. And I'm glad, no, we didn't. But um, he went on then, the first day he got brought down, the second day, he slipped along the ground in Boris when he down the road here. And the third day, um, the young lad in the yard fell off him. So it was a kind of a disaster to start. <laughs> and then we ran him in a few hurdles and the ground was soft. I'd say that was probably beating him. Um, I bet him, like at that time, we didn't know really what kind of ground he wants, but we know now he wants good ground. And like, since he got the good ground, he's after, he's after proving us. Uh, right the whole time and listen to have a horse like him in the yard with a small stable is, is absolutely brilliant and he, he's a kind of a people's horse as well mm. I see here there in the last four or three weeks people passing I got different phone calls we're up in Cork for a couple of days any chance of um, going out and seeing the horse and people coming out here and taking photos and as you can see like he, he wouldn't hurt anyone or harm anyone so he wouldn't so um, there's people coming in there and I'd say go, he's out there in the field go out and take a few photos and um, it's great it's great for the public too mm. it's great for the public to have an old horse like him to follow because um, the racing game is it's not easy and um, a lot of the big owners are winning a lot of the big races but like the man that owns this only has a couple of horses, a bit of land, and he's really enjoying it, so he is. He's really enjoying it. And on that uh, sand, and of course, great day, but Galway, that was a special day, the scenes afterwards. Uh, Galway was brilliant, like a hill. Of, I was often in Galway, and there'd be big owners that have them, and there'd be two people standing in the ring. I'd say there was 50 people in the ring with us. But like, it was amazing when you went back and looked at Galway, the crowds around the ring outside, there were 10 and 15 deep around, and the cheers and the roars. And again, a small, a small setup, winning a big race. And um, I think a lot of people got behind this that after he went in the bet 365, mm. you know. And um, like he won the Durham National and no one even talks about it. And it's a big race. Yeah. You know, and like he was on, he was very unlucky in your tax, or a, a loose horse brought him out. And only for a loose horse brought him out, he would have won. That was Cheltenham last year. Mm, that's right, on the Saturday, yes. On the yeah. Saturday, mm -hmm. I, I left Cheltenham on the Wednesday night because I thought he'd win in your tax, or and uh, he was up, uh, Rachel brought him over, and um, we were just very unlucky. And I said to to John Gainford when he got brought out, he, in fairness to the chap, he pulled him up 
I got off and walked him up the track and he had his head down coming and I said, don't worry at all about it. I said he'd win the Galway plate first and he went on and done that. So that, that, was, a, that was a big thing. He, he did and uh, that last 100 yards in Galway plate, it was all going so well, then the loose horse. I, do, I, I shut my eyes. Because <laughs> I, had a, I said, my look was going not great at the time and I said, is he going to go through the rail? But listen, he's tough and he's mm. honest. And I'd say what happened in Galway, he had to be tough and honest. If he wasn't, um, he would have pulled himself up with the loose horse. So, um, but like, it's great, and it's great for the game, so it is. You rolled onto the stall, the Kerry National, big weight, it all looked to be going to plan. I tell you, I came down out of the stand in, in the stall, and I said, John, you're too old to cry. There was 200,000 left lying at the back of the last, <laughs> and it's not easy to take it. <laughs> 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 and, um, but I, I came down along and I said, Jesus, I said, John, you're too old to cry at this stage. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important thing was that he was up and he was going. Mm. And we had it in our mind to go to America. So um, we went on there then. But, uh, and the America trip was great. So it was, and it was great. We had a lot of people out there with his Davy Russell, uh, Patrick Mullins, Gordon. And when we did win, we, we kind of celebrated well. And that win, of course, uh, brought great attention, but to go over there, you know you've got a chance it's for huge prize money. It's a little bit off the beaten track, and uh, for you to go there and win that race. He had to go and win, and he had to do, like, he had to do everything right to win, because he was after travelling, and some horses don't travel, but as you can see, you could, you could put him in the back of the car and go, he, you know, he's that kind of a horse, a really cool customer, so he is. And um, when he went over there, he travelled well, he was well looked after beyond, and um, during the race, I never had a doubt during the race. The only time I was afraid of was the new, these new, their new hurls or fences over there, mm. and I was afraid. After he jumped the first, I settled, and I think he did as well. <laughs> And the scenes afterwards as well, uh, you, you uh, got a bit of an American accent there, I thought, at one point. Listen, yeah. um, we just wanted to make sure that the new were there, you know, <laughs> and we've done that, so we did. I think the, the race after it has to be put back for 40 minutes or something, because <laughs> they couldn't get us off the track. So, um, and it, it was mighty, it was just mighty, and Paddy was over there, and he, um, did, we had the two boys with us, and he, um, he, he looks after him at home and that and listen Jack the Bombhead was after getting killed before that and Paddy was very friendly with him and I kept him going mm. kept him going so I did um, Were you surprised how much attention it got at home uh, you know not just with the race media but the mainstream media it's really taken off I, I, I couldn't believe it and even RT you know RT followed them to to Cheltenham or to Galway. Mm. Uh, they, they were here and the folly is down the road and that day um, the folly is unloading them and that and they came here and we loaded them to go to America. They were down, mm. took videos and go on and the next morning at eight o'clock they were back here again. <laughs> and it like was on it made the main news. Like it's not easy to make the, and it's great to make the for, make, for good reasons. For good reasons, because <laughs> there's a lot of bad reasons. Usually when you're on the main news or anyone is on the main news, it mightn't be good. <laughs> but like this was good. And I, I got the public eye. Mm. And um, that's it. And hope to God now that he goes and he runs well in in um, Cheltenham. And like <laughs> He'll go to Liverpool, come home all right, mm. everything, and he has, he has three busy months in front of him now. he go, he go to uh, Cheltenham, then he go to Liverpool, and then he's back to America. So um, there's a race in America in May for him. So he has, he has three runs, he has three races in front of him. And listen, if anything happens, he'll be minded and left alone, that's it. But we're hoping to get three runs in in three months, and then, during the summer, there's not much for him because he's gone so high in the handicap mm. now to like the Galway plate. This is it's, he'd have a savage weight in it. So, like, yeah, you, you, you haven't a lot of races for the horse, so you have to take whatever comes. And getting back to the Gold Cup, of course, say uh, you've had winners at Chelem in the past at a November meeting, but to go there with a live, a live chance in a Gold Cup. To, listen. Um, we never have too many for Cheltenham because we're not we're, we're not hoping that class. Mm. But um, we had winners in in Clonda Warrior one and 
for us. And um, but to have a winner there, Hidden Cyclone was placed in the in the paddy, in the Ryanair, a second in the Ryanair. But I'd love to have one winner in Cheltenham. <laughs> you know, it keeps the whole thing afloat. So that, but and maybe this will do it. I don't know. How huh? do you how do you assess the field this year? How do I assess the field? I think Willie's horse is too short. Um, no, he's a very good horse. Galloping the champs. Galloping yeah. the champs. A very good horse. But I just don't think he's a six four shot. Mm. Um, like it took him, it took him all day to pass a four mile horse in Leperstown the last day. Now he went away from him after he passed him, but um, I don't think he should be as short as he is. And you have there's about five or six horses then that are all the one. Do you know, if you took, mm -hmm. if, if I'd say if Willie's horse came out of the race tomorrow morning, it would go off six to one the field, do you know, or seven to one the field, because there's not Nell sticking out a mile in it, and there's a lot of horses with chances, the same as him, do you know. But we know about him anyway, listen, there's one thing we know about him is he'll stay up the hill. Yeah. And he has enough pace, after winning the goal, uh, after winning the Galway played, he has enough pace to carry him. So whatever happens then after that. And the dry forecast, you're hoping it's dry all the week? Oh Jesus, I don't want any rain. <laughs> I don't want any rain. That's the last thing in the world I want is rain. He's a, he's a good ground horse. And probably, like, if we ended up that we got a downpour, um, I'd definitely have to think about not running them mm. because Liverpool is only a month later or five weeks later. So that's the only thing that had stopped me from running them. Hopefully that he stays sound and safe and sound. But um, he's a different horse on good ground. Without a doubt, he's a different horse on good ground. Don't fall asleep that way. <laughs> Shark, a new addition to the yard and a contender for the Grand National Cave Gentleman. Yeah, no, I'm delighted to have this horse. Um, lucky to have him because the owner, uh, he's American and he rang me to buy Hewick and um, he wasn't for sale and he said, would you be able to get me a horse? And I said, it's not easy to get a horse for, for an English national because you want to be rated 150 to get in. So um, he said to me, um, listen, he said, try and get me one. So I went through all the high, highly rated horses in England and in Ireland and uh, there was three horses. One was in oh, Jesse's that um, had a lot of problems. Mm. There was a horse out of Aidan's, or out of Joseph's, and he was only six year old, wasn't qualified for it. And this is the only one that we had left. So um, I rang him at about him, and I said, I have a man if you're interested in selling him. And he came back to me, he said he was, and I got back onto the American man in America, and he bought him, and he's thrilled because his great grandfather won. The, in 1923, um, his great grandfather won the um, English the, um, national, and he wanted to have a runner. And I think he had he had a box booked and all for maybe seven or eight year for this year for friends of his in America. So they're all coming over to it. So in the late, we had to get him qualified. Tipped around the other day, lovely, got him qualified, and he has a lovely weight in the national. Now, I don't know if he'll stay or not, and I said this to the man when he was buying him. I said, mm -hmm. I don't know if he'll stay four mile, but I said, he's the only horse I can find. And um, he's going on to America then, and he'll be a star in America, this lad will be a star in America, because he wants good ground. Mm. And um, hurling there two and a half mile, or up to three mile, I'd say. He'll, he'll be a star over there. When he gets him over there, he'll be a star. And I'm looking to have him for the national. He's qualified for the back of a recent run. I'm sure you're only building to the national with him. And uh, he, he's yeah, and I, had a, he, I have him a couple of months and he's only coming to himself. Mm. He's only starting to come, so he is, because his last bit of work he'd done was the best bit of work he'd done for me since I got him. And um, I, I'm between minds of running them before the national or not. Um, we'll see, we'll see. If I run him, he'll run in a hard race somewhere and uh, so hard race over two and a half mile. But we have nothing, we have nothing planned yet, but he's going to the National and um, it'll be a good day to have two runners on the National. <laughs>